Hey everyone, this is a quick renown guide for some extra supplemental renown that maybe you haven't gotten yet or you're looking to do. Here's some quick side quests and some dungeon quests that you can do if you're looking to get a good amount of renown and fill out the rest of your renown bar. If you have yet to find all of the altars of Lilith, have all of the map explored, find all the waypoints, and complete all the strongholds, those should be completed first if you want to follow this guide correctly. Or you can do some of these quests and dungeons while you're completing all of these. I have each zone broken up into side quests and dungeons with the side quest and the dungeon included to best utilize the time to grind these zones for renown. We're firstly going to be starting with the Fractured Peaks quest. Raising Spirits is our first quest in Kyovashad. Very simple, it's right in the middle of the city. A Cold Faith is right outside of the east exit of Kyovashad. Secret of the Spring is above Kyovashad, next to the Forsaken Quarry Dungeon. You have to emote. It's kind of a little confusing side quest, but it's quick. Traveler's Prayers in Yuslina Tavern. Ravenous Dead is also in Yuslina. And a Shattered Tribute is in the Bear Tribe Refuge area. All these quests should give you a total of 180 renown. Next in Fractured Peaks are dungeons and dungeon quests that go along with them. Some dungeon quests are part of quest chains, and those quests are included with the totals as well, for all zones. Legacies of Light's Watch in Margrave for the Light's Watch dungeon. Sight to Madness in the top of Kyovashad for Cultus Refuge dungeon. You need to clear the Nostrava stronghold before he will spawn in Kyovashad. Cries of Innocence is in the east exit of Kyovashad for the Black Asylum dungeon. The Dread Martyr quest is right next to the last quest, right outside of East Kyovashad for the Hollowed Ossuary dungeon. Blood Sermon is in the Bear Tribe Refuge for the Sanguine Chapel dungeon. And the Hammer of the Champions quest is in the Bear Tribe Refuge as well for the Rhyme Scar Caverns dungeon. But you need to complete the Shattered Tribute quest before this spawns. Completing all these quests and dungeons will give you a total of 420 renown leaving you with a total of 600 renown for the Fractured Peaks area. Next, we have the Skazgling quest, starting with a plea for aid, which is found at Firebreak Manor, settling the tab, found in Shrouded Moor, whispers from below, found in North Shore, and what ails thee in Sirgar. The total from these quests are 120 renown. The dungeon quest and dungeons are the Diviner, found in Tol Dora for the Wretched Delve Dungeon. So, for this one, you must complete the Tol Dora Stronghold before this will show up. Daughter of Oak and Sirigar for the Underroot Dungeon. Barrel Moon should be in the Downs area for Sariot's Lair. The Seer in the Strand area is the start to a three-part quest chain for the Smoke Signals quest and the Reclamation quest. The Reclamation quest leads to the Domahane Tunnels dungeon. These will all give you a total of 340 renown, giving us a combined total of 460 renown for the Scots Glen area. Quests for the Dry Steps are Keeping Old Traditions in Valley of the Strayed, No Deed Unpunished in Abarhu Canyon, Exhuming Faith in Orve Monastery, and The Unlucky Ones in Tamir Hinterland leaving us with 120 renown for those quests. The dungeon quests for dry steps are mostly part of chain quest, so you will get a little extra out of these. Curious Kuros in the Boiling Plains starts a quest chain that leads to the next quest in the name of love for the Whispering Vault dungeon. Consumed by Pride in the Crane Tribe Hutmoot starts a chain quest for raising spears that leads to the Champion's Demise dungeon. Worthy of Ariat is also in the Crane Tribe hut mood and is not actually a chain quest. This leads to the Ancient's Lament Dungeon. Augur of Bones in Gerondi is a quest chain that leads to the Hubris Smiles Back quest. This leads you to the Grinning Labyrinth Dungeon. All these together will give us a total of 370 renown, but overall this gives us 490 renown for the Dry Steps area. For the Kedjistan quest, there are Mirage and Dunes of Despair, 
Pilgrim's Footsteps in Zacharum Chapel, Unsafe Travels, and Road to Ruin is a two-part quest in the Scorching Dunes, Zacharum's Plight in Hakan's Oasis, In Desperate Times is directly next to the Imperial Gardens Waypoint, Errant Flock is in the Southern Expanse, right below Chaldeum, Shadow of Acarnas is in Forlorn Badlands, and Payment Pass 2 is in Tasserac. These quests will give you a total of 270 renown. The dungeon quests in Kedjistan are Symbol of Faith in the Zacharum Chapel or Tomb of the Saints. A Wolf's Honor is in Iron Wolf Camnet or the Forgotten Ruins Dungeon. The Speaking Stone in Gyakul starts a quest chain for the next quest A Voice from the Past for the Conclave Dungeon. Also, for the Prison of Chaldeum Dungeon, there is a quest in there that could possibly drop while you're going through it, giving us a total of 310 renown for the dungeons and their quest, and giving us a grand total of 580 renown for the Kedjistan area. Lastly, we have Hawazar. Lost Cause is in Virez. Brought to the Heel is in the Forsaken Coast. A debt repaid is next to that quest, in the Forsaken Coast as well. Traveler Superstitions are in the Rotspill Delta area. Gift of the Swamp is in the Dismal Foothills. And a Heart's Burden is in the Writhing Mire. And this doesn't spawn in a specific area, I don't think. You just kind of have to go around the whole swamp area. Under the Tree of Whispers. This gives us a total of 180 renown for the quest. For these dungeons, there are no quest chains. So you're just grabbing the quest and you're doing the dungeon. Desperate Remedies is in the Dismal Foothills for the Light's Refuge dungeon. Left Behind is in Veriz for the Shadow Plunge dungeon. The Heretic is in Omir Plateau for the Forgotten Cave dungeon. Also in Omir Plateau is the Remnants of Faith for the Magwan's Works dungeon, giving a total of 280 renown. Finally, giving us 460 renown for the Hawazar area. This won't get you to 2000 renown for each zone just by doing these, but it sets us up to unlock the 80 plus obols for each zone and be one step closer for the paragon points. If all you did was follow this guide, you probably only need around 600 more renown for each zone to get the paragon points. You can do this by doing about 12 dungeons in each zone. That will give you enough to fill out the 2,000 renown. But luckily, when you start doing nightmare dungeons, these do count if you haven't completed the dungeon before for renown. And also, while you're going through this, you may need to do dungeons that have legendary aspects you may need for your build or you want to use for end game, so you can do those and get that renown. There are also some side quests that randomly spawn and drop in the world when killing monsters. So if you ever find those, always turn those in. That's pretty much free renown if you're just exploring. This should all get you to 2,000 renown pretty quick. I would say most people are having the issue with they just need to get that last 600 or last bit of renown to finally get their paragon points. And the end though, do the content that you prefer. Don't make this unfun for yourself. It is a grind, but at least if you want to do all dungeons, if you want to do all side quests, do what you enjoy the most. But this guide is made to give you a little more efficiency to help you get Renown finished up. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Hope this video helped. And deuces.